Hi everyone, this is episode 5 of the Mimo Secrets um, and what I mean by Mimo Secrets is where you get uh, benefits from Mimo which has actually got nothing to do with Mimo um, but you get it because of that magical Mimo box that I've explained in the previous videos. I think it was previous episodes 1, 2 and 3 covers it. So please look at that if that is unclear. But this one goes about fixing bad omnis or using non-omni antennas and creating omnis using this Mimo. So firstly, just because I got this interesting question from people, why do people still need to use our omnis? Because our omnis, if you go look at them, are much more omnidirectional at all frequencies compared to some others that we've looked at. Now, the first part there is if our omni is fully omnidirectional, remember I showed you this top view and I said you can steer a beam by phasing this in any possible direction. That is only true if the actual elements themselves are perfectly omni. If an element like that has actually got a bad omni pattern, and I've seen stuff like this, where in some directions it may be minus 15 dB, but of course the manufacturer will quote you the gain there. But if you want to steer that guy in this direction, you'll still lose that amount of gain, because it can only do as well as the pattern you know, if you've got an Omni pattern, I can take that pattern and boost it by 6 dBs. If it actually had a loss of 10 dBs here, still boost it by 6, but you're still pretty low. So you still need pretty good antennas. But now the opposite. Let me show you the opposite. Firstly, I call it bad Omnis, but when we, and I'll go back to my array of full, and this is a configuration that we've got in several versions, mainly for Marie. Four verticals inside a single radar. One of the real problems with it that even pointing battles to get the antennas perfectly on the top one is easy, but because the cable of the top one runs past the other, next one runs past them. If you look at these guys from the top, they are not perfect. The top one may be a perfect omni. This guy here may have a little bit of a dip. So I draw it like that. That may be the second one because the cables are going past it and so forth. So it's not that perfect. But if you're clever, and we are clever, um, you make this cable not run past the same direction. You make it so that the one runs here, so this guy is now low here, okay, high here. And next element I make high there and say low here and so forth, because it could be left, right. And now comes the magic. If you now look at this whole lot, because this Mimo box, my magical Mimo box, can select how the antennas are used, it can fix the non-omni nature, which is a result of a very difficult antenna configuration. It can fix it because if I just mix them properly, it will select the ones that got better signal and they give you nothing to do with Mimo again gives you a unique benefit which is fixing. The real killer is where you really start using. I think I explained to people before, uh, to get horizontal vertical, uh, sorry, to get horizontally polarized omnis is hell of a difficult. One of the reasons is that you don't really get an omni antenna with horizontal polarization. So you get dipoles. Sorry, this is just a bow tie dipole. That's horizontal, I'm looking from the top. That guy typically has got a pattern like a donut. Okay, a problem, eh? Because I'm now using it for Omni. What about the guy here and there? But I can do this. I hope I'm not giving too many tips to other people. I can use as one of my other horizontals. I can use this guy. This guy's got a pattern that exists where the other guy hasn't got. Connecting this. And I'll have two verticals as well. The verticals are properly on there, okay? So I don't have to worry too much about them. But remember my first episode, I said that the best, best Nemo is horizontal or vertical. You always get that. You don't have to rely on reflections. So uh, we're going to bring out some Omnis now and bigger Omni enclosures. And if it's four by four, I can do horizontal. I can do horizontal, okay? I could never do it with two by two because I need to use one of these, then I miss out some areas. Uh, Works sometimes, doesn't work other times. But now I give these two to my Mimo box 
And like this, of course, the vehicles as well, but let's look at the horizontals. And it will choose which one has got a signal and pass it to the correct radio. Sometimes both will have a signal, okay? In which case it can do that bit of phasing. It can steer the beam a little bit left and right, but it can only steer it where both of them have got a bit of signal. So, fancy magic. Here's an antenna with two big holes. It's horizontal. I do want to use horizontal because polarization is the best version of Omni and the secret Nemo box will fix it for me. It will make my elements, which are not perfectly Omni, into a Nemo unit that is much, much more Omni. Mm -hmm.